tonight on Virgin's Bag, a hobby that can bring a lifetime of enjoyment. Oh boy, what's in the mail today? When Roy Hensel checks his mailbox, he always wonders, will this be the day? The White House, that's what I've been waiting for. Roy can't wait to open up the envelope and what's inside is exactly what he wants. The Gores came through and got the Clintons to sign as well. Roy Hensel, the autograph collector, has scored again with signatures on this photograph straight from the White House. It was signed by Jimmy Carter. Here's the Fords over here, signed by both of them. I sent it to the Gores and asked if they could help get the Clintons to sign it. And the Gores and the Clintons have signed it. And it's very, very hard to get a, a president in office to sign anything. And it is a Only George Bush's signature is missing from the photograph now. And Roy goes after him next. A Carlisle County grade school teacher, Roy began this fascinating hobby more than 30 years ago following the Kennedy assassination. Because I saw Lyndon Johnson elevate from a vice president to all of a sudden he was the president. And that kind of got me interested in it. And uh, I've been collecting ever since. Harry Truman was my first autograph I got. Roy's collection also includes autographs of movie stars, U.S. space astronauts, and Kentucky governors, just to name a few. And this is 11 Kentucky governors on it. And that's pretty rare to be able to get 11. Three of them have passed on since, since this was started. Roy's favorites will always be the autographs of U.S. presidents. And sometimes they send along souvenirs. Ronald Reagan sent this. Autograph collecting has grown into a family affair at the Hensel home with daughter Emily collecting Dennis the Menace. And Travis, who do you have? Hulk Hogan. How'd you like to have Sam Badger's signature? I don't think so. <laughs> so remember, folks, if you ever see Emily, Travis, or their father Roy leaving the family's mailbox wearing big smiles, you'll know why. Sam Burns, News Channel 6.